So, Kathy, <laughs> it's a new year coming about. What is the plans for nutrition this next coming year? What are the plans for nutrition? Not to have a waiting list for Meals on Wheels. We were successful in not having a waiting list this year. Should I look at you or the camera? The camera. Okay. And our plan is not to have a waiting list in 2017. Fantastic. And to feed as many seniors at our community dining sites and in, in their homes as we possibly can. Any exciting new plans that you have for this new year? Thank you. Exciting plans. Oh, yeah. We're um, partnering with Grub for the dedicated intergenerational garden to get seniors to garden with youth over at the Grub Garden and um, to produce food both for uh, CSAs, um, community supported agriculture baskets for low-income seniors and also for food for senior meals through Grub, grown by youth and seniors working together. And we got a grant through Target Corporation to help kind of kickstart that with some funding to help put in ADA accessible um, paths over at the Grub Farm and to get some supplies and we're excited about that. That sounds fantastic. How big do you think it's going to be? Well, it depends on how many people we get to participate. We'll be recruiting seniors. Maybe we could even talk about it on TCTV and see if we can get some seniors who are interested in going over there and working with youth to farm. Now, this is, now have we ever had a, a program tied into nutrition to bring fr fresh fruits and vegetables in before? We have. Grub has already been growing some food and bringing it to us in the food bank. Um, and we accept donations uh, from community gardeners uh, all the time during the so this harvest season, but then it completely goes away this time of year. So but this will be the first time we'll be active. Mm -hmm. right. When do you start? We're hoping to start um, in May of okay. 2017, and they'll start planting you know, in June, May and June, um, and then all summer long through harvest. No growing boxes in here where you can grow food and just kind of pick it as you go along? <laughs> oh, that would be a great idea for herbs. I know out in, actually, you know, you asked about any existing gardens and out in Lacey we have a garden um, put in, I believe, by uh, Public Health and Social Services out in Lacey. Um, and they grow herbs and tomatoes and, and you could probably get more information about that garden from Sarah. Okay. Panapel, who happens to be here. She's um, one of the directors there. Okay, super. We'll ask her. Well, thank you very much. And then anything you want to say to the members? Just like, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. My friend. Ma. Thank you very much. So, so last year in STARS, what was the big excitement? That we were finally settled in Lacey <laughs> and that we had spent uh, a year of seasons looking out at the beautiful pond and um, and the folks enjoying uh, the patio and the view. Um, so that was, I think, our big excitement. Um, so what's the great plans coming for 2017 for STARS? For STARS, um, uh, Trying to, to 
to meet more needs in the community, um, expanding our support services to um, to include maybe more education and try to uh, market more so that hopefully we can open a second source site again here in Thurston County. So then you're kind of a dual program, one to actually pr provide the services to the, to the seniors that need the extra time and, and um, how, how is it you put it the other day, the seniors that you bring in? Oh, um, well, we're, we're social program for our seniors, give them something to do during the day, and then we're a respite program and education program for our family caregivers. Yeah. So then you're going to also expand that into the education of the, the, the family members, so how to take... Yeah. Um, uh, and the community, dementia education um, and support um, support groups and things like that so that um, the family caregivers feel they're not only getting a break, but they're getting help managing um, their loved one's care and, uh, and care for themselves. It's important for caregivers to take care of themselves. How many, how many people in STARS right now? Um, we have 35 in all right now. Um, they That's don't all come on the same day, so um, maximum about 16, 17 in a day. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're yeah. close to a waiting list, so <laughs> yeah, That's exciting. That's super. That's good. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh Happy New Year. <laughs> super. Thank you. Say, Paul. I understand you work in the seniors program. What senior program is that? I work in the STARS adult day program. How do you like it? Oh, I love it. And so how was 2016 for STARS? It was an awesome year. Uh, we, we consolidated our program in one site and it was a lot of fun. We had a good time. And what kind of great plans do you have for 2017? Well, we're looking forward to possibly re-expanding. It just depends on need, but we're ready to do that when it's time. Burn a burn. Super. Okay. We look forward to it. All right. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy New Year. Fantastic. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate that. We're just <laughs> Hi, you are. Karen Rose. And what do you do here at Seniors? Sausages. Um, I do anything they ask me to do. I cook sometimes, I'm on the finance committee, I'm on the long range planning committee, and I just love everything I do around here. What great plans do you have coming for 2017? Getting Olympia to, to make our, our rent payment less. <laughs> That's a good cause. We're gonna, we're gonna, because Lacey did. Yeah. So we, we, we need to get the same out of Olympia. Okay. Any other plans? In some way, getting over the death of my husband. That has nothing to do with here. Uh, okay. Anything? Okay. This sounds fantastic. Um, bring, bring people's wages up to, to, to a minimum okay. wage of at least fifteen dollars an hour. All right. Okay. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And. Mr. Clark, it is a pleasure to always as to see you. How are you doing? And how are you in this Christmas season? I'm doing quite well, thank you. All things considered. And what's your great plans for 2017? So far, the senior services or other ones? Both. Well, one thing, this will be my... 2017 will be my last year as an elected official. I have notified some of my constituents that 20 years is enough. But I still will be participating as best I can, as well as I can with senior citizens. To make sure that they, the city of Royal Lacey continues to treat them well and charge them nothing. <laughs> I can understand. Now, can we understand, are there any foreign trips that you're going to go overseas for? And ride around in back of police cars? I think my overseas traveling, I've been to Poland twice and they want me to come back again, but I don't think that's 13 hours on a plane that I don't want to do again. No. Well, well, we wish you a happy holidays and a happy new year. Thank you very much and thank you. Thank you. All right, Chris. Yes. Hello, and I believe you are. I'm Chris. And what do you do here at Senior Services? I'm a bartender. And then your other job? Oh, yeah, I'm um, Senior Center's Director. 
that's how you oversee the Lake Seed Olympic Senior Center. Fantastic. Any great ideas for 2017? Great ideas for guests, but it's top secret. Ah, secret squirrel stuff. Well, we'll... Your readers will have, have to, or your, your viewers will have to keep looking for our uh, newsletters that come out. Okay. For the Lacey and Lindsay Senior Center. So, a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff going on. Uh, we started doing advanced care planning for people, but both centers. Uh, Myself here at the Olympia Senior Center, as well as Eileen McKenzie Sullivan, Sarah Hannapel at the Lacey Senior Center. So um, we can help people go through that process. Um, and do you have more ideas for, for bingo next year? We do actually. Um, in February, we're going to be doing a Mardi Gras bingo. Whoa. That was actually suggested by one of our bingo goers. Um, we are going to have a fantastic. Yeah, we have a fantastic series of bingos. Um, six here in Olympia, and we'll do three in Lacey. So, thank you. And they're really, they're really fun. If viewers, if you haven't come to our bingos, you got to come. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Okay. Okay. New thank you. Happy New Year. Thank you very much. And and you are? I'm Rodetta Seward. And where do you work, Rodetta? Well, I'm retired, and I'm a board member here. I'm retired from Inner City Transit, but I'm a board member now for the Senior Services. And don't you still work at TRIPS? I work in TRIPS upstairs. I volunteer, actually. I love to volunteer for TRIPS. What's the best part about your job up there? The people, helping the people, helping them find a trip, making them happy. They find social with it. They um, fulfill their dreams. They're able to go places. Many of them don't drive, and they just want to be able to be able to go places because they're not able to, to drive anymore. And they find new friends. They find places to go. Uh, many of them no longer have partners. Many of them move here from other places, and they just want to meet new people, um, go to places they're not able to go, and we're able to match them up. So do we have lots of exciting trips planned for 2017? We do. All right. We're we'll planning some new ones just today. Good. Really doing something. Well, thank you very much for your help and your services. You're welcome. Thanks for being here tonight. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you very much. Well, hello there. How are you? Hi. And you are? I am April Slee, Director of Care Connections. Care Connections. Sounds kind of new. What is it? We've been around since 2001, and we are an independent private caregiver registry. We refer independent providers to people who want to stay in their home. Fantastic. And is this uh, a service that you provide? Is it a, how do you get referrals? Um, we refer clients, we refer independent providers to clients. They call, we schedule home visits, and we can um, actually set up caregiving services, transportation, or housekeeping services for clients who want to stay in their home. Now this is not the medical part, this is just the caregiver. This is everything. Care, the caregivers that we refer can do medical assistance and help with medication, um, or they can do companionship care, all the way up to end of life care. Fantastic. Any, any goals for 2017? Um, we are in hopes to do some administrative support for a local cooperative that's coming to town. So we have big plans for 2017. Great. Thank you very much for your service. We Thank sure you. appreciate it. Thank you. Happy New Year. Okay. Hi there. Hello. And you are? I'm Stephanie Watchmas with the Senior Nutrition Program and Meals on Wheels. Meals on Wheels. That sounds like a fantastic program. It's wonderful. We help so many people. But about how many clients would you say you have? It depends on what site. Um, I think right now we have 348 clients. That's all over Mason and Thurston counties. Um, our biggest site with the most clients right now is Shelton. I think 110. Wow. Mm -hmm. What are your needs for doing Meals on Wheels? Um, we couldn't get by without our volunteers, and we we always need more money, but <laughs> we go with what we got. Okay. And then, do you have any big plans for 2017 as far as the program goes? Uh, we do, but I can't talk about it. Ah. Hopefully we plan to help more people than we are now, maybe in another county. We'll see what happens. What's a typical Meal on Wheel visit involved? <laughs> Um, so when I go and do an assessment to start a new person, um, it's basic demographic information. I ask about activities of daily living, nutritional risk, and then medical conditions and diagnoses. Um, it takes about an hour and I get referrals from all kinds of people, family members, um, adult protective services, uh, uh, medical facilities like Banner Care or Mother Joseph's, so all over the place. And if I bring a meal to a fa to a client, what's what's that consist of? 
Oh, that's what makes their day. Some of our clients, the only person that they see all day is the person that brings them their meals. Um, oh, now you're going to make me cry. <laughs> um, generally, the people go and they visit for a little while. Sometimes they help take out the garbage or pick up the mail for them. I have one lady that said that uh, she loved to do crosswords, but her vision got so bad. But the driver went out of his way to bring her a special book that had super large print so she could do her crosswords. So I think that's really sweet. They go above and beyond, and all of our drivers are volunteers. None of them are paid. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Happy New Year. And you are? Linda Terry. And what do you do with senior services? I um, direct a program called STEP, which is Sharing Teens and Elders Project. I was recently adopted under senior services, and I am also the case manager for the Shared Housing Program that we recently launched. Now, what? tell me about the Shared Housing. Okay. Shared Housing is where we're matching up seniors who want to age in place with potential roommates. Sounds fantastic. And, um, it's been quite the need. It's feeling quite a need here. In We've heard your name mentioned in association with something called Brain Games. Yes, I'm also a brain health learning coach, so I teach a lot of workshops and classes and private clients um, with memory, attention, and processing speed, so helping people the way they think. And any great goals that you have planned for 2017? <sighs> Growing all my programs. Um, on a personal level, I've been working out, so I'm probably feeding my spiritual side a little bit more, and um, just continually giving back. Happy New Year. Fine. Thank you. Happy New Year. As good as it'll ever be. Okay. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? And great. And you are? Jill Rector, and I work at the Lacey Senior Center, and Virgil Clarkson Lacey Senior Center, and uh, we're having a great time over there. It's like family. So what do they do there? Oh, what they don't do there would probably be less to write down than what they do do there. There's so many things. There's so many um, events, activities, classes, seminars, presentations, fun. Everything you can think of, there's an interest group for, and that's what makes family. It really is a good place to be. It sounds like a fun place. Any big plans for 2017 for the center? We are working on a plastic bottle cap curtain for the backstage. That's a really strange thing, and it's going to be a triptych, which is a three-part installation. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a whole half year, I think, before we get it done. <laughs> but we got all the caps, so we're good to go. Looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye now. Take care. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy 2017. Thank